My name is Zach Wentz. I'm a T1 complete entry. So I'm a student at USC, just finished up my junior year. I'm studying economics and music. Um, I lived in Switzerland when I was a sophomore in high school, and that's where I was, um, that's where I was injured. On November 3rd, 2008, um, during my time there, I um, finished a long day of skiing with my friend, and we were walking, or rather running back to class holding our skis, and I um, went down this flight of stairs, and on the last step, I slipped on an icy patch and fell on my back and um, got up and was fine. Felt uh, dizzy for maybe 30 seconds, but ultimately felt fine, rebounded from that, went to class, felt fine after that. Um, when I got back from Switzerland, I um, had Christmas with my family and then went up to Tahoe with my family. And on New Year's Eve 2008, um, which was gonna be the first day that I was gonna go skiing with my family after having gotten back from Switzerland, um, I woke up and just the most pounding headache um, I've ever had in my life. Um, so immediately called 911. We were in a remote area of Tahoe, so in the 25 minutes that it took the ambulance to get there, I was laying on my parents' bed and I slowly lost all feeling and movement from my feet all the way up to my chest. Ultimately, I was airlifted to Reno and um, they found that I had a uh, seven vertebrae long blood clot in my spine. And so it just kept growing and growing and ultimately at a certain point, it was too big, it pressured my spine, cut off all the communication from my brain to the rest of my body um, below my chest. And yeah, uh, the, I was paralyzed on um, New Year's Eve 2008 as a result of the fall on November 3rd. An Asia test is um, essentially testing the, how much someone with a spinal cord injury can feel. Um, so I am in Asia A. So I am paralyzed from the chest down, uh, T1 injured from my first thoracic vertebrae down, which means I have no feeling or movement below my chest. So I got my tattoo when I was 18. Uh, there's four parts of my tattoo. Uh, one is the, the kind of main central image on the tattoo is uh, the Matterhorn, where I lived at the base of the Matterhorn in Switzerland when I was at school at Swiss semester, my sophomore year. Um, underneath that, I have the words, I will walk, um, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, at the top of the mountain uh, on my tattoo, uh, there's a cross and in the middle of the cross is USC's logo. Uh, USC has meant everything to me. Um, I've absolutely loved my college experience and so far and have learned a lot about my interests, um, what I wanna do with life. Uh, music is definitely my number one passion. Uh, I play the piano. I taught myself how to play by ear when I was in the hospital recovering from my injury. If this was my senior year, this past year, I would have definitely been at Coachella. Um, I didn't go this year. Uh, because I was kind of nervous and anxious about um, just everything related to accessibility at Coachella and um, how that interacts with going with a group of friends. It, it, it's tough because if my friends want to go deep into the crowd, I can't go with them, and I also, but I don't want to hold them back. So it's tough because uh, I'm a go-getter. I'm definitely someone who will take something that seems um, impossible or improbable or unlikely and go after it. So um, all that put together, I decided to put the brakes on this year and just go all out next year for Coachella. Sports have always been a huge part of my life. Played all sports growing up and um, I play tennis and basketball now. Swim With Mike is a scholarship foundation for uh, disabled athletes. They invest in you as an athlete and a student, but more than that, they invest in you as a human as a human being. So Swim With Mike really gave me the opportunity to excel at USC and to thrive here at USC. Swim With Mike believed in me. Swim With Mike believed in me and they believe in all the scholarship recipients to, to thrive after, after going through something that really changes your life. Uh, in regards to the label of being disabled, doesn't really reflect me and the change um, from who I am now and after my injury versus who I was before um, because I, I have dreams and I'm just as able to complete those dreams before my injury as I am now. As a human, am I disabled? No. In a physical sense, do I have limitations? Yes. What I would say to recent spinal cord injury patients is that your life is going to be different. Your life is definitely going to be different and there are going to be a lot of unknowns and it can be very scary, but you're the same person and so just keep persisting with who you are and what passions you have and everything will fall into place. It's, uh, it's definitely a tough road, and I've had, from my experience, all sorts of road bumps. It's been a roller coaster, but um, you know, everything, everything will be okay. Just stay true to who you are, and fight on.